Hello, this is Hervé from Comic Book Bin, filling you in since 2002. So today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of the new Endor Rebel Commandos, or otherwise known as the Endor Rebel Troopers. They're basically the same thing. I've got two of them. I've got two more on the way. So let's start. So the Endor Rebel Troopers, or Commandos, are obviously inspired by the hot rebel troopers from a few years back and they have the same face changing feature they also have the same weapons the hot rebels were very popular and a great set of figures where you could even store the extra faces this is not the case with the endor rebel troopers the potential is there but it's not exactly the same. And that's a downer. I feel Hasbro should have spent a little bit more time trying to make the features as cool as the former figure, given that this set is a deluxe and does cost $10 more than a regular Star Wars Black Series action figure. They know that people are gonna be army building these things, and so they decided they were gonna call it a deluxe with basic, basic equipment and gear. Even a G.I. Joe Classified has way more than that for the same price. If I compare with this guy, Torpedo has much more gear for $10 less. I do understand that Hasbro does own G.I. Joe, does not own Star Wars and has to pay licensing fees, but still. So in terms of likeness, these guys are based off the regular actors that we saw in the films. Some people say that this is Commander Max. Some people say it's not. I wouldn't be able to tell, but it's just a generic face, nevertheless. As you play with those guys, you realize that Hasbro should have really made many more faces available, especially for a deluxe price. This is not a deluxe price action figure. This is a regular action figure, and what Hasbro did is not cool at all. But idiots like me, fools like you, we're all gonna be buying those anyway. I don't think they're gonna be on discount. So in terms of likeness, they do have the classic camo. They have the same weapons as the Hot Rebel Troopers, except the difference is that you can store those weapons on a Hot Trooper. You cannot store it on those guys. The gray is a bit lighter also compared with the Hot Trooper. It's the basic helmet. Everything is there. Base, gun, overlay, jacket extra belt backpack the backpack does not attach so it really floats so sometimes it's often going to be this way it's going to look a bit awkward you're going to have to push it down if you want it to look decent and proper so this is a likeness in terms of sculpt these guys look great it's a star wars action figure so it doesn't have double joint articulation it's only single so the star wars team or disney whoever seems to favor having less cuts and articulation visible in favor of beautiful figures it's a choice. Although, again, the Hot Rebel Trooper did have double articulation at the knees, and it was not a problem at all. Now, obviously, these guys go with previous Star Wars figures quite well, what they were made for. I believe we've had troopers in smaller 118 scale. I don't think we've had them in this scale yet. The joke out there is that the Star Wars team doesn't know who else they can produce anymore. They've produced every single character possible. So, the sculpt, like I said, is very nice, it's very detailed. Some of the gear is actually fun. This is the kind of gear that could be reused with other action figure lines because there's no peg hole and peg. Might be compatible with something else, something that remains to be seen. In terms of pausing, stability is good enough, you can stand pretty well. Now let's do the articulation finally. So there is a butterfly joint and this figure can raise its arms, but I'm very careful doing it. Feels a little bit stiff. I don't want to push too much almost 90 degrees it's a single elbow articulation with a swivel included and inside and outside wrist articulation for the left hand and the up or down for the other arm the neck articulation is quite good I do a lot with this thing up down side to side it's all good there's a ball joint at the waist so you can twist but there is no ab crunch on those figures i don't believe many of the star wars figures have ab crunch a few of them do though now the hip area which looks a bit weird like all other Star Wars figures. The cut is too narrow, so it shows the crotch a bit too much. Swivel at the thighs. You have to be careful. If you misalign them, the color won't look as good. Single knee articulation. And here's a big problem that all these figures have, is that the regular paint is gray. You can actually see the difference here in color. So if you do bend the knees, it will look awkward very quickly. That doesn't look very good. I'm not sure why they didn't use a base plastic that was 
greenish instead why they use the gray you can rotate the boots also here at the knees there is no articulation here the shin there's workers in the feet one side works better than the other one so if you want to put him this way now the face changing feature is not easy to use it feels like the figures are a bit stuck it's very difficult to change those faces i would have preferred a feature similar to the hot rebel troopers where you remove the top of the head and just slide off the face by the way you cannot exchange the faces with the hot trooper i tried i've seen other reviewers try to do it it doesn't look good the face of the hot trooper is too narrow it doesn't fit well in here and vice versa they don't look good at all i tried this is one problem that hasbro has they should have made it compatible and they should have produced more different faces maybe they'll come in the future but it doesn't seem like they understand what army builders do if we're gonna get those guys given the price that they are they should be almost perfect and they should allow us to create an army with them there's several of those guys as you can see if you have compatible helmets you could probably take off a head and put it on one of those guys to create more characters it's up to you that's what i've got to say with these guys i like them a lot but they're not perfect they could have been much better but it seems with hasbro that they make something like 90 percent good but it's never perfect and there's always something that needs to be fixed so that then they can sell you more of those figures later on while they finally bring the touches that you've wanted it's a bit annoying that a company keeps doing that why not make the product perfect from the get-go why not you can't even store these in the backpack just like the hot trooper where you could and you cannot store these extra weapons on the characters unless you have them hold everything at once again it doesn't look very good do i recommend them well yeah in a sense they're expensive only if you can afford them they're ten dollars more than they should be you have to know this they are not perfect they're just okay well this is hervé from comic book bin filling you in since 2002 see you next time